Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen Shane and today we will be talking about how to figure out what you should be making and selling on Etsy. If you haven't seen me before, I make lots of videos about Etsy selling and behind the scenes of running my own Etsy shop. And this video is part of a series I'm doing all about Etsy selling for beginners. So if that's something you're interested in, I will have it linked on this video. This video today is for you if you are wanting to open an Etsy shop and you're not sure what to make and sell, or maybe you have a general idea of a category or product you would like to sell, but you're not sure how to make that a reality. So if you're still figuring it out, I hope this video can be helpful for you to sort of prep and plan for your future Etsy shop. So I've got five general steps and phases for you to think about and kind of work through in figuring out what you want to make to sell on Etsy. The first sort of step and phase would be to think about what you like to buy, what crafts you already like to make, items you're already interested in, or any items you think you would be good at making based on prior experience or just things you already like to do. You can learn absolutely anything online super easily now, so don't be intimidated if the item you want to make is something you don't know a lot about already or something you haven't made before. I just recommend maybe starting to look into things you're already interested in, even as a consumer of that item. You can absolutely do something you are not super familiar with, but you might be surprised how much you already know about something just from being interested in it as a buyer of it. Having hobbies and learning new things and having creative crafts is absolutely the best and now is a really great time to be learning things because it is so easy to learn absolutely anything online and a lot of us have more time at home, especially with working from home and having a creative hobby that you can turn into a business on Etsy is truly the best and there is no time like the present to get started. The second phase of this prepping and planning process is to ask yourself, what value will you add to these general categories or products you're interested in? And what will you do differently if you were to start selling them? Ask yourself and think about what you would do to make you and your shop unique and to make your product stand out from things that already exist on the market. This will definitely take some time and energy to figure out and don't worry if it's something you don't know right away or right off the bat, but I think these are really, really important questions from taking your shop from just a place with products to a place with a strong brand identity and a greater purpose outside their products. It can be sort of intimidating to step into a new market and to create a new shop. Trust me, I know I've been there, but I promise you before most of the shops that you love and adore started, it started with someone saying, I want to do this better because, or I want to do this, but make it with this unique twist. And I think that's something really beautiful and special about Etsy and the Etsy creator community is that truly every shop has something different to offer and a different purpose behind their products. Throughout this planning phase and throughout the process of actually starting to make products, I really encourage you to think about what you want to do differently and what value you want to provide to your customers. The third step in this planning phase is research. And this is super huge, especially if you want to start making a product you haven't made before or something you don't know a lot about. And if you have a few different categories or products you're interested in, you should definitely research into any and all of them because figuring out how things are made, how much it costs to make them, how long it takes to make them will help you sort of narrow down what you would actually enjoy making and what you should start making. Some questions to think about in this research phase are to ask yourself, is there a market for this item you want to start making? Is there a market for this general category of products you want to start making? How trendy is this market? Is it something that people want in a specific season? Is it a really trendy item that might not be trendy in a few months? Or is it something more tried and true that people can shop for throughout the years and over time? Making trendy items isn't necessarily bad, but if the bulk of your items are trendy and a trend that could be over quickly, there is definitely more risk involved in that. 
but I would definitely recommend having a mix of more trendy products and more tried and true products so that you can have some stability over time, but still play into seasonal trends. How competitive is this market? How many shops are already selling this thing that I want to sell? How profitable is this item? Is it at a low price point? Is it at a high price point? For shops that already sell this item, what else do they make? Do they only make and sell this item or do they have a mix of items? Do they have other similar products to go along with it? And do you know anyone in real life who could give you advice or tips on actually making this item, on selling this item, or even do you have people that could test out this item and give you honest and helpful feedback on the actual product itself as if they were your customers? You should also do research into how to actually make this product or you can even search how to start a jewelry shop or how to start a sticker shop or whatever you're interested in to sort of see the behind the scenes of the making and selling process to see if it's something you would enjoy and something you want to spend your time and energy doing. The fourth phase in this process is budget and this is huge and definitely something I'm sure you're thinking about throughout this whole phase and something to keep close in your mind as you're researching potential products and potential items to be selling. When thinking about budget and starting to make a product that you'll be selling, you should ask yourself questions like, how much would it cost me to start selling this item? What supplies do I need to start making this item? And how much would those supplies cost? What shipping supplies would I need to actually get this item to the customers and how much do those cost? Do I have any supplies on hand already that I can use to start making and selling? Once I have the supplies to start making an item, how much can I sell it for? And what's the profit margin for this item? And finally, how many of this item would I need to sell to break even and to make a profit from my initial startup cost and initial investment? From there, you can sort of break it down into different categories and areas of things you would need to budget for and supplies you would need to start selling and just to identify anything you already have on hand that you can use for your shop or if you've already made any of those items that you can use to add to your shop. The fifth and final phase of this prepping process is action. Actually doing it, actually doing things and getting ready to start selling or to start making if you haven't already. The action items include making the actual products, creating your shop if you haven't already, marketing or a marketing plan for your shop, and a timeline. So assuming you haven't started a shop yet, you don't have any social media or anything like that, and you don't even know what you want to start making yet, I would say it's really important to think about a timeline. When would you like to open your shop? How long would it take you to learn how to make this new item and to actually start making them? When do you want to open the shop to actually get yourself motivated to add products to your shop? And what is your marketing plan? How are people going to find you in your shop? And where are your customers going to come from? From people commenting on my other Etsy videos, I feel like there's sort of two categories of people. There's people who already have a product they've started making or started practicing making, and they're sort of too afraid or need a little push to actually open their shop and post those products. Or there's people who are really excited about opening a shop and they want to start selling, but they don't know what to start selling yet. So whichever category you're in, this is your sign, this is your reminder, go do it, try it out. You can absolutely do it. And the best way to learn something is to learn about it from doing it. If you are also a new shop in either of those categories, I definitely recommend starting social media accounts just for them if that's something you're interested in and if you want to be promoting your shop on social media. You definitely don't have to if social media isn't as much of your thing, but I do think it can really help create that greater brand and brand identity beyond just the products you're making. You could also promote your products from your own personal social media if that's kind of more your style, but I would definitely think about if you were to start making and selling these products, how would people find you and where are your customers going to come from? Those are my five sort of general phases of prepping and planning for you and your future Etsy shop and how to figure out what you want to make and sell on Etsy. As I mentioned, this is part of my series on 
Etsy selling for beginners. So if you have more Etsy questions and you need more help getting started, I have more videos for you and I make lots of other videos about Etsy selling tips and behind the scenes of running my own Etsy shop. I wish you all the best with your new either future shop or potential future shop. I could not recommend Etsy selling enough if it's something you really know in your heart you want to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful or at least encouraging for you. Leave me any questions you have down below and I will do my best to get back to you. I post new videos every single Friday, so I will see you again next week with my new video. But until then, be nice to people, be nice to yourself, and do something kind today. See ya.